I don't have a sugar daddy. I've never had a sugar daddy. If I wanted a sugar daddy, yes, I probably could go out and get one because I am what? Sickening. Ever considered charging your partner for your time? Whilst in the midst of that lovely little thing called austerity, us youngsters are scrounging for every spare penny we can find. Okay, so yeah, maybe we do buy too many avocados, but is that really why we're skin? It's an avocado! Whatever the reason, our pockets are empty and we're desperately seeking every potential source of income we can, hoping to collect up those quids and finally be able to afford something luxurious like a bit of kale or a McDonald's. And it seems that our thirst for cold hard cash knows no bounds. People are making homemade cards, giving beauty treatments on the side and getting sugar daddies. Welcome back to Bluntly Put. We've discussed the many ups and many, many more downs of modern dating before, but what we haven't yet covered is getting paid for it. That's right, apparently you can financially benefit from those pre-date nerves and sluggish walks of shame the next day. Turns out there are many, many people out there who will happily drop some cash in the name of a good day. And as the true love children of capitalism that we are, us millennials are cashing in. Earlier this month, a 26-year-old single mum was in the headlines after she admitted she earns two thousand dollars a week as a sugar baby. Previously working as a waitress for just four dollars fifty an hour, Maria Young threw in the towel, or apron I guess, and started earning cold hard cash just by dating rich men. What a treat. Unfamiliar with this concept? Let me help you out. Sugar daddies, and therefore sugar babies, have been about for a long time despite seeming to have only been in the press in recent years. It's basically a situation in which usually older, much richer men give out gifts, experiences and cash money to their sugar baby, usually a younger and pangolin girl. Sounds all right, doesn't it? Such is the popularity of these setups that dating websites are dedicated to those looking to give or receive these gifts seeking arrangement being the most well known. The result is that it seems that these symbiotic situationships are growing ever popular. And it seems that people really are considering bidding off their nine to five in favor of a seven to 10 evening type job. Of course, students are particularly in favor of this setup with 937 students at Manchester University alone playing the role of a sugar baby. There's even been reports of one student being sent off to splash the cash on herself and her mates. All she had to do in return was send pictures of her feet. Right, where do I get me one of these? But with this ever increasing number of sugar babies, obviously the world and his wife have an opinion. It seems that the point of contention lies with whether or not this constitutes prostitution. Whilst I'd quite like to sit here and defend sex workers' rights until the cows come home, I'll keep this straight. It's not always about that. From the various accounts online, it seems that the sexual element is of course an option, but remains the choice of the baby. Seeking Arrangement also states that it prohibits any unlawful use of the site, including escorting, prostitution and human trafficking. I'm not sure how they enforce this, but at least they acknowledge it as a potential issue, I guess. Anyway, it does seem that maybe taking sugar babying as a sleazy income stream might be a bit of a narrow-minded take, especially when you consider the gain. Let me treat you with some quick math. So good old Maria earns $2,000 a week. For us Brits, that equates to about one and a half grand. Times that by the 47 working weeks a year, and that's £70,500 a year. For comparison, the average yearly salary for a UK citizen is around 30k a year before tax. After tax, that's about 24 grand, which per month is 2k. Which would you rather, £2,000 per month or per week? It's not too tricky to decide, is it? I don't know how many hours a week she puts in, but I can imagine that her hourly rate is slightly more than the £7.83, which is the UK's minimum wage. And before you ask, Maria does not have any intimate relationships with the sugar daddies, so don't get in the comments with your judging. She even makes them sign a no sex agreement. We love a professional queen. So what do you reckon? Should we all pack our jobs in and date for a living? Or is it just a bit icky? Let me know.